Hi there guys, I'm Manny K. Soso, the robot with Sadamo de Bears, and today I've got something just a little bit different. Normally I do tutorials for some of my various scripts, but today I've got something more of a prototype. So then, this here is an experimental uh, silo build, and you can see there's items in it and whatnot, but it's very, very special in that you can see, it's just like, well wait a minute, there's, I could see the items in it. So if I look at the next item, oh hey, there's more than one item I can see that's in it. And that's because every time an item goes into the silo, it's going first through this sorter so I get the hash, and then it's being input into the silo. Well, that's fairly interesting. So then I'll hit this reset button, which will take it just a second to recognize and it's going to start exporting those items because what it does is it resets the stack inside the IC housing which recently you know was broken and you can see that the items are flowing back in and I'm resetting that stack to where it's just like well hey this is the item the order the order of the items are in so then we can see I saw that item I saw that item I saw that item and everything after is just blank well then, let's add another item. Let's add this spray paint in there. So that will get added, and it's going to be added to the back. So if I now look at that position 5, oh, did override an item slot again. And you can see this is why it's experimental. It is, you know, fairly broken in terms of the sense. Uh, sometimes slots get overridden. Sometimes, you know, the stack doesn't want to keep correctly. It's, it is 100% a mess. But, you know, we'll see that the items will come back out again in the order that they went in. And then we'll get the spray paint again. And then that will be it. So maybe this time the stack will be correct. And it is this time. Except the first item, for some reason, decided not to work. So, basically the way it works is, let's say I want the iron ore. It's going to export the items until it finds that iron ore. I get it. And then what happens is it's going to basically do the same thing the reset did. It's going to wipe its memory of all SP values. And it's going to open and recycle those items and set a new order for the items. So this works very, very, very similar to a regular vending machine. So now, if I go to zero, you can see the frames are first, then the paint, then the heavy cable, and then the sheets. It, and you can see that it reset based on, okay, so basically the first item in the list is going to be what was after this ore. So we can input the ore back in, and it should hopefully, you know, okay, didn't override that one again. You can see it got added there again. And you can see the item quantity there on the right side as well. And that's what this IC housing is doing. It's just taking this number, and you can see I'm using a decimal point for the um, hash, which actually doesn't ruin the hash if you didn't know. If there's a decimal point on the hash number, you will still get the correct display on your IC housing, even if the number is 0.999. So that's a quick and easy thing to do, but this is just displaying the quantity. I'm taking this number, doing some math on it, and I will get the quantity that is correctly in the silo. But one limitation is that although the silo can fit 600 items, because the stack size is only 512, the code will only let you go up to 512. It won't let you go higher than that, otherwise, you know, the code would air out. And until recently, this IC housing would not save the stack on save and reload. But now, since the most recent beta build, it has fixed this. But yeah, and that's why there's also three dials, so you can go, you know, to 512 easily. If you guys want, I can release this script, um, even though it is buggy as is. I will release this script if you guys want. Just leave a like and a comment down below saying that, hey, I want to play with this script. 
I will release it on the Sting Workshop. But other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.